from the scientific perspective, can you explain to the average listener how cannabinoid oil works on a cancer cell? First, let me talk about the normal system, the normal immune system, how it works against cancer. We make cancer cells all the time, you know, just when the DNA goes haywire, uh, you get uh, an out of control cell. And if it aggregates, then it forms a tumor. But it starts off as a single cell with, with an aberrant uh, DNA. Well, the immune system knows about this. And the endocannabinoid system, which is part of the immune system, goes to work on it. Now, an interesting thing about cancer cells is that when a, a cell goes cancerous, mm -hmm. then an increase in the uh, number of receptors on for cannabinoids increases in the cell. So um, when the body's own immune system uh, senses this, then the endocannabinoid that the body uses is called anandamide. And anandamide uh, mates with these receptors and stimulates the production of a chemical called ceramide. And ceramide is like the SEAL team. It goes in and kills the target. When, when ceramide is produced in the cancer cell, that it kills off the mitochondria, which produces energy for the cell. So once the mitochondria is dead, then the cell can no longer survive. Now, when the immune system becomes overstressed through illness or injury or, or stress, then it gets behind on killing cancer cells. And it doesn't take much to get behind on killing cancer cells. So, if you develop a tumor and all of these cancer cells, then you take a cannabinoid supplement. Mm -hmm. Then these cannabinoids go and uh, in the circulation and mate with these receptors of the cancer cells, which produces a flood of ceramide. Now, because the DNA of cancer cells is distorted. It's damaged. The ceramide senses this and knows that this cell is dying. Mm. And the job of ceramide in the normal body is to kill damaged and dying cells. So it senses that the cancer cell is abnormal and knows that it needs to die. And so that's why this increase in number of receptors on the cancer cell. So when the additional cannabinoids reach the cancer cell. It locks into it, sends the ceramide out to destroy the mitochondria, which starves the cell to get uh, together. Amazing. It, it is an amazing process, and there is a lot of science on this pathway. Uh, there are a lot of researchers that are working on this in Europe. Uh, not so what much. countries in Europe would you say? Most um, Germany or? Well, Italy. I mm. see uh, a lot of publications coming from Italy, uh, and uh, several other countries are doing a lot of research on this. And, and fortunately, a lot of the scientific articles have been translated into English. Marvelous. So there is a huge. Well, we need to get rolling here. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. We need to get on the on the bandwagon here too in the United yeah. States. Well, for three months, I took my daily dose of one drop. It took three uh, months to get rid of your cancer? Well, in three months, I went back for my next exam. And they found that the prostate had reduced in size by almost half. So the urologist told me, he said, the tumor is gone. And uh, this is really stunning. <laughs> that in three months, the aggressive metastasizing tumor 
was gone. And you had no radiation. No radiation. No chemo. No chemo. No surgery. And but um, I did have another exam, an independent exam, just to make sure. And that doctor found that there was still tumor cells. Mm. And so I continued the course, and these are metastatic lesions that had not been uh, killed yet. So I stayed on it for three more months. So the I total see. course was six months, and then the biopsy result after six months was completely clear of cancer. So it really took you six months to be cured of prostate cancer. What stage cancer were you stage when four. you started? Well, it's very advanced. It is very advanced, and it was very aggressive. Weren't so. you told by a doctor that you may not be with us much longer if you didn't start treatment of some kind of treatment? I think he wanted to do, what, radiation? Mm -hmm. And um, cautioned you that you may not be living after, what, six or eight weeks if you didn't well, start something soon? Uh, he was a little nervous about it, but uh, I didn't hold him responsible. Mm. And and if my herbal therapy did not pro, uh, do what we wanted, then we could still go and 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 do the other treatments. But you and did not elect to do both at the same time. I didn't see any reason to do that for myself, and I can only talk about myself. I right. wouldn't recommend any particular course to anybody. Well. We could just continue and continue and continue on this, but this is revolutionary. And if people want to suffer and they want to um, take the, the hard road, they can. But if they want to try an alternative route, they have a choice. Mm -hmm. No matter what kind of cancer you have, right. you have another choice and it's pain-free no side effects. The cannabinoid oil only targets the cancer cell. That's correct. It does not weaken the immune system. If anything, it sounds like it supports it. It does. It is a, an immune system support simply because the endocannabinoid system is already set up. This, the, um, the cannabinoids and the body's own anandamide are the same they act on these receptors. So when the amount that you get from the body is not enough, you can supplement it mm. with its uh, counterpart from the cannabinoids. Marvelous. It is marvelous. <laughs> and thank you so much for your testimony and You're your welcome. time and your humanitarian you're coming forward, standing in your truth, going to help a lot of people. I Thank you. So. You're <laughs> welcome.